What's up, guys? How y'all doing? Yeah, oh, we got, got the notification. What's up, guys? <laughs> Cowboy Nation. We are currently on a family vacation. Last chances for some um, Cowboy news. We're gonna yeah, go guys. So it. we're, we're going to squeeze in a quick update here. So let's go ahead and start it off. A huge shout out to everyone here. What's up, Fire Dylan? Thank you guys for joining us. Get ready for practice next week. So let's go ahead and kick things off, guys. Cowboys. Cowboys. Still making moves. They don't know we're on vacation. They gotta take it easy. So Cowboys nice. are hosting former Packers wide receiver Randall Cobb today. So obviously with Beasley going and and still a few question marks on a few other receivers on our team. Obviously they're looking to add a little more depth. So. Guys, again we talked about different slot receivers. This would actually buy, make the Cowboys can go. I would still say go draft. You know, go in the draft, get a slot receiver. But this would definitely help. The question is the same thing: injury. Can, can he stay on the field? Randall Cobb is so injury prone. He's had a great start of his career. Kind of pro like bowler. Yeah, but I mean, not better, not pro better bowler, than Tavon. Yeah. I mean, but, but he's a pro bowler slot guy. He can play outside as well. Problem is injury, injury, injury. He's got a lot of bad hamstring, quad, whatever it is, always getting hurt. I mean, he spent most of last year hurt too with right. that hamstring. Yeah, so again, the hamstring. Yeah, so again, you don't want a guy like that. But for the right price, I'm hearing one year, four million, something like that. You know, four million dollars. You know, you might want to roll the dice with him, and I still say go in a draft. You just don't have to go second, third round now. You can go fifth round, seventh round maybe. I mean, yeah, we'll and see. again, think of it this way. Amari Cooper, you got Michael Gallup, and then you bring in Randall Cobb. I think he does bring in something you different still, from got, the other guys. You still got Alan Hearns. You still got Tavon Austin. You, you still, still got Noah see Brown. Cedric Wilson in there, you know, Noah Brown, with Cedric all Wilson, these other guys. Who wants just, to see Lance Lenore? <laughs> oh, so... <laughs> again, so and again, if we do kind of secure, because right now, offensively speaking, you know, wide receiver is still kind of the question mark with Witten coming back and everything else. So, yes, enjoying the beautiful view. So, guys, really, you know, like, if, if, you know, locking down Randall Cobb really makes it. What are you looking for in the draft? What are the drastic needs? It really comes down to defensive line and safety at right. that point. Defensive line, safety, and uh, you know, you could look at also at, you know, at, a big, at a big slot guy too. Big slot, like little Jordan Humphreys. Who's big? Exactly. So, uh, but you know, what else with uh, with Randall Cobb? Because again, he's uh, he's you know, his problem is health wise. The last couple of years, his stats have dropped. So that's something to keep in, in mind. Uh, but again, he has the explosiveness mm -hmm. that a lot of our you know we're missing right now yes. on offense. Somebody with could spread the field. Seventy catches, guys. And again, he uh, let me see. Yeah, it depends on how it sprays sweet stuff because mm -hmm. a lot of those gotten first the uh, first five years or so. Last three years has been off and on situation. Exactly. So he's twenty eight years old though. Um, and, he, and last year he caught 38 passes, injured, 38 passes, 383 yards. He had two touchdowns. He knows how to get open. He's a veteran. Mm -hmm. For the right price, definitely worth it. And but again, you got to take into consideration the injury situation. I know, but here's the flip side too. Like you said, if they're looking at someone like so again, receiver isn't a priority early in the draft. Right. We can look at that talent right. later. And if you go, if you got to go, go, you know, draft else. and offense, you might look offensive line. You might look. Tight end, you know they like that spot, and then uh, and then you also you know and then you look at slot receiver. You know maybe you can wait a little longer now that you got mm -hmm. someone like like Reggie, like Randall Cobb, which we don't have yet. We're just saying, we, and we don't know if tomorrow yeah. we get a signal. We, we mm -hmm. might go live. We'll again. do our best, guys. So for example, keep here, an eye on here's him. An example. So He's visiting first, us. That's a good sign. Yeah, the first four years of his career, um, let me see, yards per catch, thirteen point four. Now the last four years, it's ten point two. So again, he's he's dropped down, but yeah. he's still solid. So yeah, let, yeah, let's kind of yeah, try to get through yeah. this uh, again. Like you said, a reasonable contract, one year, four million. One year, four million. Something easy, guys. Again, with Mark, the Cowboys see they see Randall Cobb as equal to Beasley. So they're not going to go pay much more than the four or five million dollars, if that. You know, whatever they saw. Him. They see Randall Cobb and Beasley as somewhat right. similar. So they might be able to get Cobb cheaply, comparatively speaking to you mm -hmm. know as far as Beasley is concerned. So we'll see what happens. Again, more explosive. He, if he can stay healthy, he's going to help this this team. Same thing with Taven, Taven Austin. We'll see what they do. I still say you still got to go draft, but at least he mm -hmm. he makes the, the drafting a receiver a little less more a little less uh, important mm -hmm. or, or extreme. Yeah. So and again, it's more about the way that we would use Cobb on our team too. He's used a lot on bubble screens. He seems to struggle against press and press jam coverage. Right. So I mean, uh, bubble screens. The numbers. Cowboys do a lot of that kind of stuff. So get ready for some of that stuff with him, and he can stretch the field. So um, let's see. Your Alan Hearns, probably you know, and Tavon Austin, all those guys. You know. I mean, the question is kind of like again, if we do bring in Randall Cobb, either Cobb, 
Tavon or Hearns, one of these guys will end up not making the final Probably. 53 at some point, just because then you do have too many people, too many bodies, too many guys to pay. Right. The question, I think they're just trying to bring them in and again, allow them to perform, see, see what they see got. Yeah, battle it out. Guys, Ian Rappaport, when he reported this, he said that, quote, it would make a lot of sense, even though it's just visiting. Yeah, like nothing's official yet, but the visit, obviously, yeah. you know. Now, he, he's declined since 2014, which is, uh, I think, his last Pro Bowl year. Yeah. Uh, but he opened 2018 with 142 yards. And a touch has got the potential. It's got to stay healthy. Exactly. Chris, Lenore definitely won't make it. Yeah, so, I mean, he had, he, I will say this, he just had six drops on 246 targets. So oh, Solid hands. And that's in the last three years. So it's not like... So, yeah, exactly. This is recent stats. Right, more recent. So, again, guys... Like doing, you know, yeah, some more some moves. You know, they get crazy on uh, last year, they got crazy with this time of year. Second Everyone week, signed for five dollars. Yeah, everyone's see, second week of free agency goes crazy, right? But Marcus Martin, offensive lineman, he, he scheduled a, a meeting with them for today, actually. So get ready for that. Kevin Plenty was reported as a visitor. So you see how they're doing with the offensive line. Some of the guys are bringing back, but then today. Um, they brought in another guy. We talk yeah, about guys. safety. Safety, Clayton Gathers. Clayton Gathers from the Colts, guys, number 26. Important to note, a similar situation as Randall Cobb. If they, the, both these guys are visiting, good sign that we might actually bring these guys in. If we do, um, it, it gives us a little pause in the draft. But in the, in the end, if we get some a top-rated safety at 58, I say go with that. Uh, but if they get a safety here, they get a, a receiver, defensive tackle, defensive end is where I, I think the Cowboys might try to go as well. That's safety. So we'll, we'll see. We'll talk about that more. Just for a second, just check it out, guys. Just, <laughs> Family it was, vacation. It was exactly this time last year where, like you said, we brought in Marcus. Martin. Oh, let's get to the um, so, so, no, guys, like, so he, uh, Clayton Gathers was a team captain for the Colts. Yeah, guys, he, he was a team captain. He started 12 games. 12 games and got 89 tackles. That's that's pretty good. So, you know, he's not like, his best situation is safety. It's important. That's what we need, guys. But he's also kind of a third safety for a team as well. So it might be an upgrade to Kevon Frazier with this move. So keep I that. I've always really liked Frazier, though. But and we'll keep, see. Keep in I mind know. also that, you know, Clayton Gathers, Gathers has um, has played for Everplus. Yeah. yeah, so he has a connection with Dallas. You know, there's still some, some connections there. Mm -hmm. um, so look for Richard Marinelli to tweak him maybe a little better. We'll see what happens. Um, you know, Brian Brodus says that he liked him last year when he played in Indianapolis last year and got our asses handed to us. 21 nothing. So gathers like gathers played very well. So, you know, some, Brian Brodus likes him. Everybody kind of everyone likes him. But Adrian Phillips, what's up, DJ? Adrian Phillips, who was compared to him. Um, Phillips to, is better. Corner John Owning, which we kind of follow. We like what he says. We like Adrian Phillips better. Like, he likes Adrian Phillips a lot better. But this guy's still an upgrade. Definitely to Kevon Frazier, uh, maybe even to Jeff Heath. Maybe may make a run at that. So we'll Again, see. with the position we have at safety right now, we can make cheap upgrades and still have up grades and not break the bank and still draft both these positions receiver so, and safety strong safety. no but I, I think it is kind of notable that he was you yep. know and again under everfluss like you said right. so second most i think out of any Ooh, uh, Jeff, he, he, you win in the draft cowboys wow. are making some, right. some very smart careful and doing things that they can they can stall out depending on what falls to them in the draft so when you look at clayton gathers Clayton gathers gathers how do you spell it? i think it's g-e-a i got to respell yeah, it i think but, it said gathers but yeah spelled. clayton gathers eight Missed tackles only. We got Jeff Heath, 19. That's called upgrade. Let's see if he can challenge for that starting spot. Um, he's played great guys. He plays. He has. He's best in coverage when playing zone. Clayton Gathers. So again, if he comes to Dallas, it'll be an upgrade in that sense. Nice job stopping guys like Zach Ertz playing that box safety, that coverage guy that we need. You no, know, Heath is all right. I, I say he's good as a backup. We leave it there. Um, he's got you know his his um, snaps. He had, tw you know, 1,250 snaps. Gather Gathers had 776. So again, but if we take away special, like production numbers, right? Like time yeah, 200, 200 less snaps, but I think 200. But still, the production is there. 200 more tackles shouldn't make, you know, a yeah. whole 10 other. And back back in October, when it was a the third free agent list for safeties. So and as of this morning, guys, Cowboys still had 25 million available. And guys, we're gonna wrap it up here and guys, because can, it looks like the signals. Yeah, the signals. Kind of you might be able to get both these guys, Cobb and Gathers, if, you know, those positions, the slot receiver, strong safety or safety position, if there's no one there. Joining us, hit like if you like what you're watching, subscribe if you're new. Yes. Hit the live subscribe, notification bell, we might go live when we hit the island. As you can see, rolling. Yeah. <laughs> right, so with that said, guys, thanks for joining us. Have a great day and never forget the number one.
Hey, what's the number one thing? Oh, navy blue. Silver two. Blue. Yeah, silver. We got but the, the star top. over everything, guys. Never forget. Number one thing. What is it? Go yeah, Cowboys! Cowboy. Woo! Everyone hears it. Peace, guys. See ya. Go Cowboys.